when I discovered photography um, was several years into my art career and it was more a uh, I don't think of myself as a photographer I think of myself as an artist that uses a camera as a technique sometimes um, so I feel that my photography has a lot of painterly experience, expression to it. It's not just, it's not journalistic, it's expression. This show was based on a, a visit, my first visit to Bodhi. It was 2011, and so it was during the time when a lot of people were having to give up their homes and give up their lives, and, and I kind of did a little, I had a, a, a very small experience of that. And so when I went to Bodhi and I saw that people had just had to leave their life behind, and just you know lace curtains and the coffee cups on the table and toys that the baby played with every day and those things no longer fit into into their life um, and they had to sacrifice to let go of these things and so it it caused me to think about um, abandonment and about how we make decisions um, of what we keep and what we let go of in our lives and how we move on to the next experience in our life. most countries, people restart their lives in the same place. Here I think we have so much space that it's easier sometimes just to leave and start over and start something new. And so there are a lot of these kinds of places in our country. We can learn a lot about who, who our past is by looking at what's left behind. Um, and I, I guess I've always had a fascination, you know, you go to an antique store and, and you look at a piece of furniture and you wonder about the people that used to own that furniture and what kind of, what kind of daily events did they go through and how did they use that furniture and when they sat in that chair, where the, did it make them happy to sit there or, or was it a, was it, was it not a positive thing for them and they're just happy to be rid of it. That's Death Valley Junction and that's the Armagosa Hotel and Marta Beckett uh, is the owner of that place and, and she bought several Mustangs. They, they run free, they're not in, they're not fenced in or anything. Um, and they come back to the hotel a couple of times a day to eat and and so and they're very friendly and they just they, you know you can feed them you can pet them and and so he just posed for me it it's so simple and it's so powerful uh, and the the quality the the sharpness of the gauze against this dark uh, room in the back that you can barely make out that that there's a room back there but it was just this incredible contrast and it just every time I see it it it, uh, it affects me it it's that black and white thing it's the contrast of our lives and and yet and this is 
this was a curtain at one point, and time has brought it to just a, a scrap of gauze now, and and yet it's still it, when it was hang, you know when it was new, it probably was beautiful, and the woman whose house it hung in, she brought, probably loved it, and and now it's just this little scrap of gauze, and and I find it just very beautiful to look at. When I go out on a shoot, I usually leave before dawn because I want to catch a sunrise somewhere. I don't always have a, an idea of where I'm going. I kind of get up in the morning and say, I'm going to go in this direction and we'll see what shows up. Uh, a lot of these like the Death Valley, I was, I was staying there. I was there for three days, so I had a lot of time to go out and shoot in the, in the park as well as early mornings and evenings uh, around the hotel. I love the light first thing in the morning and golden hour afternoon light to sunset. Uh, of course, that's, that's when the shadows are strong and, and long, and you can get a dramatic um, expression. That's what I'm going for, is, is the drama. I want, I want it to speak to you. I want it to speak to me. And most of the, most of the locations, I don't... I don't say, okay, I'm going to set up and I'm going to shoot like that um, the end of time. I'm going to shoot that uh, at this hour or whatever. I rarely use a tripod if, the, if it's really low light, early morning or evening, then I'll, I'll set up a tripod so I can get a longer exposure. But most of it is handheld. Most of it is serendipity. Um, and then and then when I come home, then I can play on the computer and I can, you know, and I, I, don't, I don't do a lot, of, a lot of changing. I will sat, add some saturation. Sometimes I use a little bit of high definition filtering. Uh, I don't really use filters on the camera. Um, I, I save that for later. I capture everything in raw as clean and crisp as I can get it and then depending on how the image speaks to me then I can play with it and bring out the, the, the feeling that I want it to have. Um, when I came upon this every time somebody smiles I wake up I just I thought you don't see positive graffiti very often and, and that was just such a, a joyful um, little ghost in that picture, and I just love that piece. It makes it does make me smile every time I see it. Um, so, so I'm I'm a I'm a serendipity kind of girl. I you know I I live in in my intuition, and when the shot is presents itself, I try to be there.